Let's work backwards. Let's find the length of a cube given its surface area. So recall the surface area formula for a cube or a cuboid is surface area equals 2 times length times width plus length times height plus width times height. And remember for a cube, the great thing about a cube is that length, width, and height are all equal. And instead of writing them all as different variables, we use S to stand for the side length. So let's rewrite this formula here to incorporate S's instead of L's, W's, and H's. So that means that surface area would equal 2 times S times S plus S times S plus S times S. And since I can write S times S as S squared, I'm going to have 2 times S squared plus S squared plus S squared, which is just really 2 times 3S squared, which is 6S squared. That's the surface area formula for a cube. Surface area equals 6 s squared. This is true because in a cube, the side lengths are equal. Remember, in a cuboid, that's not true. We have to go back to the original formula. So let's solve this problem now. It says the total surface area of a cube is 216 square units, or square inches, rather. What is the length of each side of the cube? So if we take the 216 that we wrote here and set it equal to 6 times s squared. If we want to solve for s, we would just divide both sides by 6. So if we do 216 divided by 6, we get 36. I'm going to write that over here. 36 equals s squared. And if I take the square root of 36, I get s equals 6. So each side length of this cube is 6 inches.